What's going on everybody? So in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is painting my valve covers. So I'm gonna take them off of the engine and clean them up and get them prepped for paint. And then I'm gonna start painting them. This is probably gonna be a quick little video, but I wanted to record it for you guys anyways. So enjoy. So this is what I'm gonna be painting. The valve covers, of course, I'm gonna reseal them properly with the gaskets and the RTV after I paint them and I put them back on. And uh, I have some silicone hoses as well that I'll be, I'll be putting on. So stay tuned, I'll show you all of that. All right, boys, so it's finally time to paint these valve covers. So I was, I did start off sanding everything by hand at the beginning, but then what I did was I realized that I have way too much to do and I don't have so much time to kill by doing everything nice and slow and, you know, taking my time and sanding it by hand and trying to be as DIY as I possibly could. So I went out, I bought a sanding kit for my drill. Uh, I attached it to my drill, it helped me uh, sand a lot quicker. These two valve covers were not painted. I just needed to give them a rough sanding a little bit just to so the paint adheres to it properly. But these two were painted. So for these, I even used paint stripper. I used paint stripper first to get most of it off. And then I used my drill with 180 grit sandpaper attachment to it to get rid of the rest of the paint. And then what I also did was I had a little, little uh, sanding attachment to my Dremel. I used that to get in the corners and everything. And then I use a scotch Bright pad, give it a once over. As you can see, like I, this is ready for paint. Like this is, I probably went way harder than I needed to, but I like to do things once and I like to do it correctly. I don't want to have to repaint my valve covers and stuff anytime in the near future. So for how your paint comes out, it's all in the preparation. I, I spent hours doing this. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some isopropyl alcohol. And this is like, this is great to use before you apply paint. It's like maybe not even 10 bucks for a liter. And this is more than what I need for my whole engine. So I'm just gonna give everything a wipe down. What this does is gets rid of any grease and oils that are on here. And it also evaporates really quick, really quick. The higher the percentage, the better. So I'm gonna wipe it down. I'm gonna put on some clean gloves before that. I, on my little table here, I put down a clean plastic sheet so I don't get paint anywhere. And there's no grease anywhere here right now. I'm gonna wipe everything down with the alcohol. As soon as that dries, uh, I'm gonna make sure I wear a respirator. I'm gonna tape down just I'm gonna tape this area. I'm gonna tape just the tips on these pipes where the silicone hose is gonna go. I'm just gonna leave it as is. So I'm gonna tape it up till about here on both. And I'm really not gonna to have to mask off anything. I'll mask off this as well. I'm really not gonna to have to mask off anything else because these uh, bolt holes aren't really threaded. So that's fine if there's paint in there. And then I'm ready to paint. I have my primer here. I'm using high temp primer. Let's get to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I'm gonna use this paint. This is the color I'm going for. As my car is silver, I wanted to use kind of a silver color for the parts that aren't gonna be completely out there in the engine bay. I want the engine to have hints of this color. Everything else is gonna be black. So I'm gonna use this. I think I am gonna use a clear coat as well, just so it has ultimate protection and it lasts as long as possible. Um, I just I just realized I don't have a can of clear coat and I forgot to buy some so while the paint is drying I will go buy clear coat and uh, hit it with clear coat afterwards as well. So I got the primer all laid down. I did one thin coat of primer and then I did one thick coat of primer, uh, but it all laid down really nice. And the reason I only did two was because I pretty much hit each valve cover four times for each coat. I did it from different angles. So I went this way, 
that way, this way, and this way, and that was one coat. So just to make sure I got all the all the edges and everything, I did it that way. It laid down super nice. I'm gonna let this dry for maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna start with the color. So I did go out and buy some clear coat, but I'm not going to use it. And the reason is, maybe I'll use it for different components, but I'm not going to use it for these. I did a little bit of research online. Some people say, and I could be completely wrong about this, okay? This is my first time painting anything, let alone painting engine parts. I've noticed some people said that because the engine gets so hot, sometimes over the years your clear coat can turn, have get like a yellowish tinge to it, which doesn't look good. So one, I don't want to, I don't want that. And two, I have a friend who owns a body shop and he's been in the auto body business for as long as I've been alive pretty much. And he said that with high temperature paint, you don't really need clear coat, it should be just fine. So I'm gonna run it, whether that's a mistake or not, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world, so I'm not gonna do clear coat. I have the primer and then I have the, the base coat. It looks great, I'm gonna run it as is. Also while the paint was drying, I cleaned off all of the old gasket. So as soon as the paint is done, I can throw the new gasket on there. I can throw the new gasket on there and seal this back up. But now it's just a waiting game for that paint to dry. Okay, you cannot make this crap up. So I just did these two valve covers. I was hand tightening them. I was using a wrench, but I swear to God, I was not tightening them way too much because I know these are just supposed to be hand tightened, these two, and the other ones, and the exhaust valve covers are supposed to be torqued down to like six foot pounds of torque, which is nothing. So I, I, was, I got them all in just right. And then I'm doing this one here and oh my God, look at that crack. I'm thinking it's the paint that cracked and not the actual valve cover, but that looks kind of gnarly. I don't know freaking. This is so stressful. I really don't have time for this. What do you guys think? Do you think it's the paint? There's no way the valve cover would crack, right? I didn't even tighten it that much. Like I. I'm pretty sure it's the paint. If it's the paint, I'm just gonna leave it as is. But how do I know it's the paint for sure? Like nothing can be easy on this car. Like the bottom of it looks good. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for you guys to see it, but. I don't know if you can tell. Like the bottom is all perfect. I just don't want this to leak afterwards, but I'm wondering if it's worth it to let it ride. I don't know why everything has to be so difficult and it can't just be easy. I swear to God, I barely tightened it. I was still tightening it. It was probably maybe halfway tight. I'm thinking it's just the paint. It would bend before it cracked, right? I'm just gonna continue on with the other two for now. Maybe I'll send this to some of my friends and get a second opinion before I... God damn it.
Okay, so I took that valve cover off that cracked because I figured it was obviously better to check it out now rather than find out once it starts leaking when everything is ready. So uh, I took it off and this way I could save that gasket and reuse it if the valve cover was indeed cracked. So here, I'm gonna show you guys. So here's the crack from the outside. And if you check the inside, there it is. So that was 100% obviously a crack in the valve cover. I have no idea how that even happens because I was still hand tightening it. And I wasn't even like trying to really tighten it. I Super frustrating. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna, I, I think it's repairable. So I'm gonna try fixing it with some JB weld or something. But I don't know, it really just sucks because I just wanna get this done and this is taking too long and it's, I'm just getting a little frustrated, but I guess I, I knew I was gonna break stuff. I'll figure it out. Anyways, I got the other valve cover in. I'm gonna let it dry a bit and then I'm gonna torque it down. But the paint with that bold color I chose looks so good. Oh God, I really wish that other one did not break on me because then this would have been done today. But I got the new seal in here. I put some RTV around it and then I RTV that valve cover and snugged it down. I just hand tightened it for now. I'm gonna wait maybe 15, 20 minutes and then I'll torque it down. Anyways, I'm gonna finish that last one. That one's probably the hardest because you gotta put the PCV hose. I got it hanging down right here. You gotta put the PCV hose in it at the same time. So yeah, I'm gonna do that last one and then I'll have to fix that valve cover for, uh, for that before I finish that, so. Anyways, I'm just gonna show you guys once this is all done right here. Man, this looks so good. That paint came out so nice. I really, really wish this one didn't crack on me. Um, I think the plan is for me to try get, getting that welded. It's aluminum, so I gotta find someone who's gonna weld it and see if that holds up and prevents any leaks. Otherwise, worst case, I'll try to find a used valve cover. I doubt anyone's gonna sell me just one valve cover though, so we'll see how that goes. It really sucks when stuff like this happens because it's just delaying things for me, but I guess I can do other things in the meantime. Anyways, whatever, I'll figure that out. I guess I knew things were gonna go wrong when I got involved in all this, so that's okay, it happens. As you can see, I also got my 300 degree fuel rail in and my fuel injectors. There'll be a separate video about that. Yeah, this top end of the motor here is coming together super nice. And this Z-Spec kit looks awesome. So I'm not gonna show you guys me painting all the engine parts because it gets pretty repetitive. But what I'll be doing now is painting the front end of the motor. And once that is done, then I'll start installing the turbos and everything. And as I'm doing all this, I'm slowly replacing the hoses as well. As you can see, I have the silicone PCV hose back here that I replaced that rubber one with. And I got the hoses for uh, over here as well. So I'll change those as I go, but that's pretty much it for this one. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to make a quick little video showing you guys the stuff as I'm going through it. Nothing too involved with this, but yeah, I wanted to share it with you guys anyways. I'll drop another video real soon about the fuel injectors and uh, the upgrade I'm doing to my fuel system. So subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for that one. That should be dropping in a couple days. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just getting it done. I'm gonna be painting the front end of the motor, the timing covers and all that, and then, uh, and then I'll go from there. So slowly but surely, we're getting there. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.